Hi everyone, this is the Gas Walkthrough for April 9th. I'm Philip Newman. Today I'm solving Before Nine Sudoku by Bill Murphy. Um, this is another, I don't know that it's a totally new variant, but it's one I don't remember seeing. So um, maybe we've done this before in Gas and I just don't remember it. Maybe we haven't, but Bill has been throwing a lot of variants involving nine at us. And this is another one. So in this one, we have normal stoke rules, one to nine in each row, column, and three by three box. Additionally, we have some clues outside the grid, and the clues give the sum of all the digits up to the nine, not including the nine. So this 20, for example, since the nine is here, the 20 is the sum of these three cells. Those are the rules. And let's start with that 20, actually. <coughs> um, ordinarily, the max we could have in three cells is 24, but that's including a nine. If we don't have a nine, the max we can have is 21, which we have here, and that's six, seven, eight. 20 is one off from that, and the only way to do it is five, seven, eight. And now since we have six, seven, eight here, this must be five, and this is not seven from that seven there. Uh, down here, the only way to do six in three cells is one, two, three. The only way to do seven is one, two, four. The one, two, three looks at this cell, so that's four. And this is not two. All right, let's look at the other clues now. Um, this clue sees a nine and two cells before the nine. The only way to do that um, and get a sum of four is one, three. Three is one, two. 15 without a nine must be seven, eight and 14 without a 9 must be 6, 8. So you can see the symmetry in the types of clues here. Um, the 6, 8, the 1, 3, the 1, 2, the 7, 8, 7, 8, 1, 2 again, 6, 7, 8, 1, 2, 3. Um, the clues outside are pretty symmetric. Um, in fact, the remaining ones are also going to be symmetric. We are going to break the symmetry a little bit, maybe? No, this may just be a fully symmetric puzzle. Um, Let's put a nine there, since we've got nines looking in. So this clue, how do we have a sum of one before the nine? The only way to do that is a one. So let's put the one there, and that resolves three and one. The eight, it's a little more flexible. Um, could we have a nine here? Well, no, because there's a nine in the box. So the only place for nine is here, if we're going to have a sum of anything other than zero, um, unless we want to go way up here and this is an eight. Another way we could have seen that though is, could the nine be here even if that wasn't there? No, because the lowest these could be is four five because of the six. So the lowest these three cells could be is 10. Um, so that's another way to see that. Uh, the five and the four also need nines in the second cell. So we know how to do those sums. Uh, this one also looks down here. The 8 looks up here, and at this point we're just doing classic Sudoku. So let's see what we can find. Uh, we still need 3, 5, 6, 8. That's not very exciting. Uh, these can't be 6, 8 though, because of the 6, 7, 8. So actually these are 3 and 5, and this is 6. So it was more exciting than I thought it, thought it was at first. Uh, two four to finish the box. I bet we can do something similar here. Uh, we need one three four seven. These can't be one three, so it's a four seven pair. Uh, oh, the eight here. Not four seven four six. Makes more sense. I was already losing my symmetry. Uh, one resolves three one. All right, these are five and seven, which are resolved. These are now one, two, three, and we have a one, three in the column. So this is two, that's three. Up here, we need six, seven, eight. We have six, eight in this column. So those are resolved. Uh, we know we need six in one of these cells. What else do we need? We have three in one of these cells. We need a one in one of these cells. And so this will be 2, 6. And none of those are resolved yet. 
but we do have some pairs at least. Um, these are from 5, 6, 7, 8, and from these they have to be the 6, 8. This is 5, 7. I didn't mark these. Uh, these are 2, 4, and 5, 8. That's resolved. Uh, down here, these are 1, 4, also resolved. These are 3, 7. All right, let's look. Sixes and eights can't go in any of those cells. So that must be a pair here. And I bet one and three can't go in these cells. So it's a pair as well. I Means so this is a two or four. Uh, we could have seen that by just looking at one, two, three, four and see we have a one, two, three in the row. That's four, that's two, that's four. And here in this column, we need five, six, seven, eight. Um, we have six, seven, eight, so this is the five. These are now two, seven. Across here, we still need a five. We still need a six and eight. Gotta go in that order. And that six resolves two, six. Oop. Two, six. Uh, two, three, three, one. These are one, four resolved, and that resolves these. And then finally, to finish off here, we need a three and four, three and seven, seven, six, six, eight, eight, and five. That's the solution. Um, really nice puzzle, really nice introduction to the variant. Um, I like that there are three different types of clues here, even though they're fairly straightforward to resolve once you think about mins and maxes. Um, we had the three cell clues that are forced, we had the two cell clues that are forced, and then we had the one cell clues that are forced. Um, and so that was a neat progression. Probably you could have done some of that in a different order than I did it. But either way, let us know how you did in the comments, and I will see you next time.